So guys, in this video, we will learn about date time module. Basically with date time module, you can perform anything with any kind of dates and times. Uh, for example, you can get your current time and then you can convert it with any other time zone. Then we have, uh, you can say we can change the date formats, for example, year, month, uh, then date or uh, date, month, year or something like that. You can basically customize anything in date and times. Okay. So uh, you can uh, use any kind of IDLE, PyCharm, VS Code, anything. But I'll use Jupyter Notebook because of its flexibility. And I can run uh, every line separately so that you can understand it better. Okay, that's why I'm using Jupyter Notebook, but you can use any kind of IDLEs. Okay, so I'll just quickly open my PowerShell over here and just write over here Jupyter uh, Notebook so that it can open the Jupyter Notebook. Fine. So you can see it opened that Jupyter Notebook. Now I'll just cl uh, click on this new and then Python 3. Okay, and I'll name this file as date time. And you don't need to import, uh, I mean, you don't need to install date time manually. It is already there. But in case if you get any kind of error while importing that, for example, uh, you first need to write uh, import date time. Okay, and if the, this does throw any kind of error, that means date time is not installed. You have to install by writing pip install date time in your terminal, uh, in your CMD, PowerShell, whatever there is. So yeah, first of all, you need to run this code. Okay, if it works, that means it's installed perfectly. And now let's just write some basic codes. Okay, so for example, if you wanna uh, write a simple date, okay, in that case, I, uh, you just need to write date time dot date. Okay, so I'll just make a variable called D and that will be equals to date time dot date. Okay, and inside the parenthesis, I can basically write any kind of dates. For example, I'll just write current date, that means today is actually let's just see that yeah it's july 11 2020 so i'll just write 2020 comma july means 7 and then 11 okay and i'll just print the d so you can see now it actually changed into a date format that means 2020 0, 07 and 11 but there is one more thing you have to note down that is uh, uh, you can't write over here zero okay july means 7 uh, basically everyone does mistake this thing that is uh, uh, they wrote over here 07 or if the date is actually 2 or 3 that means they write 0203 something like that but that will throw an error let me just show you that quickly so I can just write 07 over there you can clearly see it's in wait format now okay so if I run it you can see invalid token date time module doesn't recognize 0 that much okay so that's why you have to write simple 7 now if I run it you can see it uh, ran perfectly and then we have uh, assume we want to get the current date, today's date. So in that case, you can just write what I, um, I'll just write TD, that means today. Okay, and then you just need to write date time dot date because we have to fetch only two days date. That's why I'm writing date time dot date. But in case if you wanna fetch the time, you don't need to write date time dot date. Okay, so date time dot date then today and then a parenthesis because this is a method okay there is a uh, error i guess it's it should be date time dot date dot today okay and yeah perfect now i'll just print this td and you can see both are same now because this is the today day, today's uh, date actually and today is uh, 11th july okay and you can also separate it by year or month in case if you want to print only the current year or current month or today's date actually so you can just write over here td dot uh, year and that will print 2020 that means today's year uh, sorry this current year and then you can also write day over here so that it can print the actual today's day of date actually okay so that means it's 11 and let me just quickly print uh, comment this four things and I'll show you something more okay so now in date time there are two kinds of weekdays okay so in the first one uh, the Monday is actually zero and the Sunday is actually six but for the second one the Monday is actually one and Sunday is actually uh, seven okay so uh, if I just uh, okay let me just uh, quickly uncomment this and now in case I just want to count the day that means today is uh, whether Monday, Tuesday, Thursday or what, what day today is so you can clearly see over here today is Saturday right so to count the day that means uh, we have to just write over here uh, TD dot weekday okay this is a method and let's just print this out quickly so print uh, TD dot weekday and there is the second one that is print TD dot ISO weekday 
okay now if i run it you can see in for the first one it is five but for the second one it is six that is because of for the first one monday starts with zero so here monday is actually zero and sunday is actually uh, six okay that means since uh, today is saturday that means it should be five right and for the second one monday is actually one okay and similarly the sunday is actually seven so that means six means it's saturday right so in this way you can count uh, the day number okay and then we can we have this time delta so let me just uh, comment these two lines so time delta basically means uh, for example today is actually 11th july of 2020 right and assume you want to fetch the date after seven days okay like the date which comes after seven days that means it should be 18th july right so in that case we have this time delta so let me just quickly uh, show you that thing like for example we have a date and then we add this time delta and that will become a date two okay so let's just do that time delta i'll just make it t delta okay and that will be equals to uh, date time dot time delta okay and inside the parenthesis you can write days hours minutes seconds and something like that since now we are working with only date so i have to write days okay so days will be assume six okay and now uh, if i just print uh, today plus t delta that means uh, this date is actually today's date right and this time delta actually six so today's date plus six okay that means it should be 17th of july okay so now if i run it you can see it's 17th of july 2020 right uh, let me just comment these things as well so now if i run it you can see uh, it's uh, 17th july right similarly assume uh, you can also count your next birthday so i'll just uh, write one thing over here my birthday that means b day uh, it's actually 20th june uh, so i'll just write over here uh, date time dot date and then uh, 2021 because already it's gone so 2021 is my next birthday so 2021 then 6 then 28 okay and since you can clearly see a uh, date plus time delta is equals to date 2 that means if you uh, minus date to uh, i mean if you calculate date to minus date that means that will be equals to time delta right so uh, i'll just write over here uh, we have this birthday we have today's day so i can just write print uh, b day minus td okay that means my birthday minus current date it will basically show you in this day format okay you now if i run it you can see there are 352 days remaining till my birthday okay so it is showing me in this format that is days format right you can also change the format as, as well for example if i just wanna only face the seconds okay so in that case i'll just put it inside the parenthesis or you can make a variable which will contains this b day minus td and then you can just use that variable and b day minus td dot uh, total seconds okay now if i run it uh, well there is some error i guess so we are getting this uh, built in total seconds of date time that is because of uh, this total seconds is actually a method so you have to write parenthesis over here now if i run it so you can see now it is showing me in seconds so uh, yeah there is like over 30 million seconds remaining till my next birthday okay so i'll just quickly comment this out let's move on to the next point that is how to write time we already learned how to write date that means date time dot date and now let's see how to write time okay so i'll just quickly comment these things and yeah now let's just write tm or time anything you can just write so that will be a uh, date time dot time and inside the parenthesis there are like hours then minutes then seconds then milliseconds okay so for example if you just wanna uh, write 10 that means 10 hours then 30 minutes then 40 seconds then you have to write milliseconds so that means uh, assume thousand okay now if i just print tm you can see we uh, it is in the time format 10 then clone symbol then 30 then 40 then this is the milliseconds right but most of the time you have to write date and time simultaneously right so 
we already learned how to fetch only date and how to fetch only I mean how to write only time so now let's see how to write date and time uh, you know at once okay so I'll just comment these things as well and now I have to just write over here assume TTM that means date time okay and then you have to write date time and dot date time so to write date and time at once you have to write date time okay so date time and then you can parenthesis and inside the parenthesis you can clearly see over here we have date first then time right so obviously you have to write date first then time so i'll just write over here uh, 2020 comma 5 comma 6 or 4 and that means this is the 4th of may in 2020 and then uh, we have to just write some time so assume it should be 8 comma 35 comma then 15 then you can write some milliseconds so i don't need to write any milliseconds so yeah now let's run it okay we didn't print that thing so print dtm okay so you can see the first three things are now date so 2020 of uh, sorry i mean 4th of may of 2020 and the the last things are the time actually we didn't write the millisecond that's why it is not showing the millisecond so it's actually showing the hour minutes and seconds okay and uh, let's just comment these things as well and now let's do and now you can also use this time delta in time actually so you can clearly see over here we already use time delta as days only right so you can also use some different things so for example i'll just quickly uh, uncomment these things as well and i'll just copy this line okay and paste it over here and let's uncomment these two lines as well and now if i just you can see we have this date uh, 4th of may right and the time delta is actually six days that means if we add these two that means it will be 10th of may so now if i run it okay yeah it should be dtm not td so dtm plus time delta and now if i run it you can see now it is 10th of may right but you can also use hours, minutes, seconds as well. So let's just write hours. Okay. Now that means it should be at six hours with this time. Okay. So that means on 4th of uh, May, the time is actually 8.35. So now if I add six over there and now it will be uh, 2 p.m. And then minutes should be same and the seconds are also same and the date is also same. Okay. So the hour becomes uh, 14. That means 2 p.m right and now and now let's do something with the time zones right so let's just comment these things as well and now let's just face uh, the time according to the time zone okay there are mainly three ways to face the time according to the time zone okay so i'll just quickly write uh, td underscore today and that will be means that means that we have to write today method so date time dot uh, oops date time dot today okay so this is the method to face the current date and time okay so let's just copy this thing for two more times okay and i'll just change these variable names with uh, now and then we have this utc now okay and uh, over here as well you can clearly understand that thing it should be now right now and then it should be utc now okay and now if i run it okay we didn't print that thing so we have to print td underscore today and i'll just copy these two more times okay and i'll just paste this one over here and this one over here and now if i run it you can see that the first two one is kind of similar right but the you know but the last one is different that is because of uh, if you just write date time dot today that means it will face the current time and current date obviously and similarly when you write date time dot now it will face the current time and current date according to your time zone okay and if you just write utc now that means it is taking the utc time zone that is actually 5 hour 30 minutes behind of me i guess i don't know so you can see utc time zone is the center uh, of the map i guess and it's greenish mean time 
इट इज़ ऑल्सो सेट गेन इज मेन टाइम ओके सो इट शुड बी जीरो कॉमा जीरो 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 पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सो एंड माई टाइम जोन इज एक्चुअली एशिया कोलकाता करेंटली आई मीन कोलकाता दैट सो इट शुड बी कोलकाता दैट इज इन इंडिया बाई द वे एंड एंड द टाइम जोन ओवर हेड इज एक्चुअली फाइव आवर थर्टी मिनट्स अहेड ऑफ द यू टी सी टाइम ओके सो नाउ इन केस इफ यू वन फेस द करेंट टाइम आई मीन द यू टी सी टाइम यूजिंग दिस नाउ मेथड यू कैन जस्ट यूज द पी वाई टी जेड मॉड्यूल ओके इन द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑल्सो दे आर सजेस्टिंग दैट यू शूड यूज पी वाई टी जेड लेट मी जस्ट शो यू दैट थिंग यू कैन सी इन डेट टाइम मॉड्यूल देर इज एन ऑप्शन टू यूज दिस टाइम जोन बट दे आर नॉट सजेस्टिंग दैट थिंग दे सेट दे आर दैट टू ट्राई पी वाई टी जेड ओके दे ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग यू दैट लिंक सो टू इंस्टॉल पी वाई टी जेड ऑन योर डिवाइस यू हैव टू ओपन योर टर्मिनल और सी एम डी और पावर सेल वट एवर यू हैव एंड लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली ग्रैप दिस टर्मिनल एंड देन यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट ओवर हेयर पीप इंस्टॉल उप्स पीप इंस्टॉल पी वाई टी जेड ओके लेट्स रन इट You can see the requirement is already satisfied, but in your case, it should download this PYTZ module on your device, okay? And then you can just import that thing as well. So, import PYTZ, okay? Fine. And now let's just uh, let's just mute these two for now, actually. So you can see this date time dot now is actually printing my time zone, my current time, right? But in case if you wanna convert it with uh, the UTC time, you just need to write TJ will be equals to PYTJ dot UTC, okay? And that's it. Now if I run it and you can see it changed to twelve hour fifty six second. Let me just uh, uncomment this line. Actually, this means uh, this is actually taking UTC uh, by default. So that means if I run this uh, two, that means both will be same right now. Okay, so if I run it, you can see both are same, and yeah, both are same actually. But maybe if your device is uh, slow, that that will be, uh, cause this millisecond will be different because both are running at different seconds. But uh, for my device, both are running at once, so that's not a big deal. So that's why this uh, showing this something like this. Okay, so both are same. Both are now UTC time zone. So now, guys, uh, let's just uh, make one thing. Let's just do one thing. Actually, you can see we actually created a random date, right? So you can write date in this format as well. So now, assume you wanna change this format into UTC. Okay. So in that case, I'll just quickly copy this uh, thing from there, and I'll just paste it over here, and I'll just remove this comment symbol over here. Yeah, perfect. And uh, yeah, now if I run it, you can see. Uh, the date is actually this thing. Okay, let me just quickly uh, copy some time actually because uh, if you change the time zone, the time actually change, not the date, right? So I'll just uh, I'll just choose this one. Okay, and I'll just uh, yeah now perfect. Now if I run it, so you can see the time. And date which uh, we choose actually fourth uh, of May, and the time is eight thirty-five, right? And now, if you wanna change this time uh, in into UTC time zone, so in that case, you can just write over here TZ info, and that will be equals to PYTZ dot UTC. Okay. Now, if I run it, so you can see. uh this is now an utc time zone so the time uh, you can clearly see over here it is plus 0000 that means it's in utc right now okay so now assume we want to change it with my time zone that is in kolkata right so uh, actually when before writing the time zone of your locality you first need to know how to write that thing so for that you also need to know uh the time zones on your area right on your country so uh you can just uh, there is actually two way to search uh, the time zone of your area uh, first one is obviously you can just print out all the time zones and from there you can just uh, quickly grab your country and then you can just choose your nearby time zone or you can just search for your country okay i'll show you both the, both the things so for tz that means for time zone in pytz dot all underscore time uh, time zones and then we will just print the tj okay now if i run it so you can see now it is showing me all the time zones are uh, available over here so africa has these things and let's just go america 
america has a lot of time zones actually and yeah in this way you can just search for your time zone and there is one more way by searching with your country name okay so i'll just quickly comment this thing and i'll just write uh, two more lines that is print pytz dot country underscore time zone okay now if i uh, actually in the box bracket if you write your country short code for example if you are in usa you have to write us okay and if you are in germany you have to write de similarly i am in india so i have to write in that's it so you can obviously create a variable uh, where the variable will be equals to uh, this total thing and then you can just print that variable i'll just quickly run this cell and yeah okay there is an error pytz has no attribute country time zone actually it time zones okay because uh, some countries has uh, multiple time zones that's why it should be in plural case case okay and now if i run it you can see uh, in india we have this asia kolkata time zone right so let's just quickly uh, use that thing to convert this time that is 835 that is actually utc time you can clearly see over here it will convert it into my local time zone that means it should be plus 530 okay so let's just do that print or i'll just create a variable that is kolkata uh, time kt maybe and then i'll just write this variable that is d then dot s time zone then in the parenthesis you have to just write pytz dot time uh, oops time zone and then you, in the parenthesis you have to pass the time zone okay so it is actually asia kolkata right so i'll just copy uh this thing and just paste it over here and now if i just print kt so you can see the time zone uh, the time is actually 8 35 right so now if i run it so now you can see the time is actually uh, 14 5 and it is actually plus 530 which i was talking about it should be plus 530 in india right so yeah in this way you can change between different time zones so i'll just uh, show you one more thing before that i'll just uh, comment these things now let's talk about string formatting okay so in the date time documentation if you press ctrl plus f or comment plus f if you are using mac you will get this search option right and over here just search for string or str f time yeah so you can see we have this str f time and str p time behavior right so let's use that thing for example uh, obviously whenever you are using these things you can just quickly go into google and search for that because it's really impossible to remember these things uh, or you if you can remember this thing that's also fine so that's not a big deal you can see there are many short forms and you have to remember these things otherwise you can just uh, go to google anytime and then quickly you know grab these things from here you can see the month is actually percentage b the small b and capital b we will see that later on what is the difference between these two so assume uh let's just choose some date okay so yeah so i'll just uh unmute uncomment this thing and now if i run it so we have this date 4th of uh you know 4th of may 2020 right so assume we want to change the format of this date so this is this is basically a year then hyphen then month then hyphen then the date right and uh now assume we want to change it with month then the date then a comma then the year okay so in that case you can just write print then the variable where you stored that date uh, date that is d over here and now to change uh, the date format into a string format you have to write strftime okay strf time okay and now inside the parenthesis you can write whatever format you want to change it for example i'll just want it uh, the month so the month is actually capital b uh, it will show you the full month and if you write small b that means it will show you the first three character okay and then i'll just write percent d it will show you the date and then i'll just uh, quickly write percent capital y and after writing this comma obviously capital y means it will uh, show you the total year that means 2020 and if you write small y it will show you only the last two uh, digits okay so now if i run it so now you can see it is now in the month then the date and then the comma then the year right and similarly uh, since this month is actually may it already have the only three characters so now let's just change it with six so that will be june now uh, june okay so yeah you can see it is june now if you just uh, write over here uh, lowercase b 
it should print only the first three character that is j-u-n okay so now if i run it you can see it's printed only the first three character similarly if you just write small y over here that means it will print only the last two digit so now if i run it so you can see it printed last two digit that is only 20 right and yeah there are so many uh, different things so you can just try it one by one you can see there uh, the the day if you want to print the day sunday monday tuesday then you can just write uh, percentage capital a and if you want to make it short only print the first three characters then you can just write percent small a okay similarly this is for date then month then year and then yeah you can just uh, just quickly uh, see these things from the documentation that's uh, not a big deal and now assume we have a date with this format and you want to change it in this format so that you can perform different tasks using that date okay so because this is the main and primary format of date so if you want to perform some things on the dates you have to make it this in this format okay so assume if you have a data where the format is this thing so you obviously need to convert that in the primary date format so let's do that as well so assume we have a variable called um, ast year date okay so that means it will be containing a date in this format so i'll just quickly copy this thing from here and paste it under this quotation because this is a string right now right and now let's just change it in the primary date format so for that you just need to write print and then the variable where the string format is actually saved so it should be str uh, date and then you just need to write strp now time okay you can clearly see uh, we use this strf time when we have to change the date time into a string but uh, when we need to change the string into date time format you you just need to write strp time okay okay i did a mistake we actually need to write over here date time okay so date time dot date time yeah perfect and now let's just put a parenthesis and now we have to pass the variable where you stored the string format so over here it is str date right and now we have to tell the python uh, the python modules the what is actually the date format we are passing so it should be uh, this thing right obviously because we are just uh, writing june in the first three characters then we have the total date then we have a year and the last two digits right so i'll just quickly paste it over here okay now uh, if i run it so you can see it printed uh, this thing uh, over here and then it converted that string into uh, the normal date time format and now it printed the same thing over there right but now there is one thing uh, to note it is 000 by default okay you can't change that thing okay so let's just quickly write over here 15 okay that means now over here it should be 15 right so now if i run it you can see it changed to 15 so yeah that's all about this date time module and using this module you can do a lot of things when you have a csv file with dates and you want to prop plot uh, the time series uh, plot in matplotlib in that case also this is a really helpful thing obviously there is a date time method in matplotlib as well but you can obviously use this module as well right so you can quickly see this uh, documentation i'll put that link under this video okay